And welcome to your Gold Market Update and Charts of the Day. It's Monday the 15th of May, 2023. Hope you had a great weekend. It's Mike Smith, Senior Analyst at Gold Markets here. To lead you around what's happening today in the middle of the Asian session. Just to look back on Friday, saw small losses on Wall Street as the financial sector was weak again. And we saw some profit taking in big tech after what was a good week on the Nasdaq. Overall, the S&P 500 and the Dow were both down for the week as we see the debt ceiling narrative increasing day by day market uncertainty in terms of the congress getting some resolution on this is starting to wane a little bit and of course first of june was the time frame that the treasury secretary janet yellen gave u.s futures are trading mildly lower asian markets are mixed in early trading and the Nikkei is outperforming the sx is trading mildly lower at around about 0.15 percent down materials slightly outperforming Financials week again. European futures are pointing to a cautious open at this stage, but the market doesn't seem to be overly anxious with the VIX still below 19 at this level, but obviously that may change during the course of the week. We are seeing some buying into the USD. We reported that on Thursday we saw a fairly significant bounce of support and a test of resistance. We saw it higher again on Friday, breached that key level. And as a result, of course, gold pulled down on that USD strength. It ended up testing, but holding 2000. Copper bounced off year-to-date lows on Friday, really had a very poor week overall, down around 6% at the beginning of Friday's trading. But we did see some move to the upside, which may have been profit-taking, of course, for those who were short. All dropped on Friday, as it did for most of last week, and is heading towards the bottom of a short-term range after failing to breach recent resistance. Bitcoin had its worst week of the year so far. It is testing support level of 27,000 this morning in Asian trading. US earnings season is almost complete, but a few of the retail stocks are reporting this week. Japanese PPI was released this morning and it's a little soft, which is good. We have the Bank of England monetary report, Eurozone industrial production and US manufacturing data all due on what is a fairly quiet day today. A couple of charts that caught our eye today. Here is the Aussie dollar US daily chart. You can see a weekday for the Aussie last week, bouncing down off that resistance at where the 200 MA is. This could be an important level where we're trading now. It got down to 66.30, but we're seeing a nice bounce in trading so far today. If we just put this on the hourly chart, you can see that in all its glory. It has moved up fairly significantly over the last hour and looks as though we could move our way back up towards 67 with a little bit of momentum around this. Probably pause, uh, we would suggest, around this 66.82 level, uh, and then we'll decide whether we can get up to that 67, which would be the top of the short-term range it was trading in early part of Friday, late Thursday. On the ASX, it is very difficult to find anything that looks very positive. Uh, even materials have started to pull off a little bit. We are seeing some buying back into gold stocks, suggesting that markets may like the idea of a bounce off that 2000 level but we're going to look at news corp uh, this is a post earnings jump you can see it's absolutely smashed through the 200 ema you can see it's trading towards the top of the session and looking good for a move higher from here possibly in the first instance are up around five percent to test 28.68 uh, and maybe in the medium term if we get this buy momentum continuing up towards 29.60 Trade safe and we'll see you again soon. Bye-bye for now.